Hello everyone, welcome to yet another tutorial. Today we are going to look at how to create a rig for your character in Mixamo. Okay, so in the previous class we created this character and then we brought it into Mixamo and brought it back into Maya um, and just rendered the animation. Uh, but in this class we are going to look at how to create a T-pose and then how to create complete controls for your rig. So you can then create your custom animations. All right. So you can see that the rig is working. It has an icon FK switch. So right now it is in IK. So you can select the IK handle and move it around. And then you can switch it to FK by typing zero. And now you are into the FK mode. Okay. And then same way there is link at the bottom so we can make this zero and now it becomes fk but it doesn't make sense for the legs to be fk we also have the pole vectors here and here uh, and then we also have the entire rig which can be scaled big or small so everything is working fine, the skinning is working fine, so it is a, just a matter of a minute to create this and it is an amazing tool and I would like to share that with you. You can also see that there are some finger links as well, even the thumb link works. Alright, so what we'll do is we'll open the, the file that you use to model. File open and it is, I think, evil character. Two. Let us open a recent one. File open recent. Yep, it is this one. I will not save it. All right. So uh, the link will be in the description if you have not created this character. But uh, what I have is a few links here, which can be used for uh, uh, placing the joints, all right? So they have been placed as per the model. So you can see that it is exactly at the joint level. So we can select the joints in Mixamo. So what we'll do is we'll go to Mixamo. Okay, and then the what you have to do is you have to import the character in Mixamo. Uh, we know that we have to go to select everything, go to file, export all, and I'll put it on desktop. Say C, and then we'll go here and then go to upload character, select character, C. So the character comes in Mixamo and then we have to rig it by placing the joints. So we'll, everything looks good. We see that placement of our joints. So we'll click on next. So chin is easy to place somewhere here. Groin is easy to place somewhere here. Wrist, we'll use this box and for elbow as well. And then the knee. Okay, and then we're going to use uh, two chain finger because of the way I have modeled my character. And next, so really quickly, we are going to rig it. I wanted to show you the entire process, even though this was covered in the previous class. So if you are new to this class and you already have a model then this is what you would do. You'll export it as an FBX file, use all default options, nothing to change, and then you will set all your bones. And then the character will be rigged. 
if anything looks odd here, you can re-rig the character. You can see that the character is looking around. So everything looks good. I'll say next. And then, yeah, we are going to use the T pose. Okay, so if your character is not in T pose, then you can search for T pose. Okay, and then you get that T pose. So what you have to do is now download the character because you have got the skin and the rig for the character. So we'll download it. And in T pose, you'll say download. Okay, so it's a file named C as we had saved it as C. So I'll open a new file. Then go to file import and it will be in doc desktop downloads and we have to look for the C file import it all right so we got our character and there is like a the hip node and the hip node will move the entire character around all right so our bones are too big so I'll go to uh, select hierarchy and I will make the bones much smaller, say 0.5. So if I hit the 4 key, four key, so you can see that the bone maybe 0.2 even smaller. Uh, select hierarchy again and make it 0.2. Alright, so you can see all the bones inside the character. Now we need the control because right now the character doesn't come with controls. So in the description, I have uh, provided you this link to my Patreon page. Don't worry, it is free. You can download this Mixamo Auto Control Rig. It is not something that I created, I'm just using it. I just found the link online and it worked for me so I'm sharing it with you. You can use this or you can simply search for uh, Mixamo Maya Auto Rig and then you'll find it. So what you have to do is uh, once you have that script, uh, if I go to downloads and these are the files. Okay, I need to open it with uh, in RAR archive. All right, so all these files need to be placed in a particular folder. So the folder is, if you go to documents and in uh, Maya here, there is a scripts folder and then you simply drag these files here so they all come here. Okay, we are going to use the Python file, which is one of the .py files. We'll see the extension from Maya. Don't worry about it. So now what we do is we'll go to this uh, scripts dialog box, and we'll go to Python here. And go to file open script, and now you can see that .py file is there. So open that file. And you can simply select this script and drag it here so that file is added in the custom tab and then you can right click and go to edit and you can go to shelves and icon name you can click here and then you can go to again uh, Desktop, Documents, Maya, Scripts, and there is this icon, you can open it up. So there you go, you get that one. Um, now what we will do is we'll click on that button. So this dialog opens and we'll select the hip and then we'll simply click on Rig Character. 
and boom the character will be rigged okay so you can see that now the character is rigged everything is working fine if you select this the character is working so we are done that's about it the only thing is uh, the rig seems to be very big so we can make it small so let us undo our uh, work all right and again uh, there is this button which says create override bounding box so i'll select this and click on the bounding box hit the stick key so you can see the bounding box so this box i think that the rig was almost twice as big so i'm simply going to scale this to 0.5 and that's it. I will click this and click on this button again. And then I will say array character. And it will create a smaller size rig. Everything remains the same, but just that the rig is small. Okay, that's about it. So focus more on animation, focus more on creating interesting characters. And don't worry about any technical stuff about how to create the rig, how to skin the rig and all that stuff. Of course, you need to have the knowledge of how the rigging and skinning works so you can learn about it. But you don't have to spend time doing it for all your characters, especially if your characters are bipedal characters like these. Again, uh, like in the other class, there are certain things that we have in our scene that are not necessary and you can delete them. Okay, so we don't need this extra boxes so we can delete them but you get the idea so that's about it thank you very much for watching the tutorial bye bye